A 19 year old sophomore at UT Austin, Daniel Edling is a survivor. He beat childhood leukemia and a fungal infection that afflicts people with weakened immune systems. Jessica Goyala reports the specialist who treated Edlin as a child has now helped to drop some new guidelines that help others just like him. I'm breathing it in, you're breathing it in uh, right now. Aspergillus, a type of fungus in the air. It's something we breathe in all the time. If our immune system is good, uh, we don't have a complication. But at age seven, Daniel Edelin's immune system was shot. He was getting chemo for the leukemia throughout his lungs, which is where doctors found the potentially deadly fungus. He had developed aspergillosis. Told us that it had walled itself off and that um, it would not go away. He needed to have surgery. Part of his lower right lung had to be removed. It was probably one of the more threatening things during my treatment was actually the aspergillus more than anything else. This is probably the organism uh, that Daniel had. Endangering only people at their weakest with cancer, HIV, AIDS, even organ transplants. It invades blood vessels and once in the lungs, the chest hurts. Makes you short of breath. It gives you a cough usually. Often you'll cough up blood. An expert in fungal infections, Patterson helped develop new guidelines to prevent, treat, and cure the disease. This is the lab where Dr. Patterson helped develop some of the new medications used to treat aspergillosis and are part of the new guidelines. Well, they're like antibiotics, but we call them antifungals. So he was taking that IV that Dr. Patterson described and then we had the surgery on his lung and he recovered really well after that. It's just really great knowing that there's people doing that kind of work. Jesse De Goyado, KSET 12 News. Now in healthy people, the lungs defense system can eradicate that fungus, but in others, aspergillus can affect different parts of the body. That's why new guidelines released last week say that early detection is vital.